June, have a new daughter? Hello and welcome to One Burning Question, the official Handmaid's Tale after show. Joining me today, Madeline Brewer, who plays Janine, and Rachel Lindsay, a huge fan of the show. Episode one, season four, ends with June saying the name Banana to Mrs. Keys, this young woman in whose home she's staying and has sought solace. What does this mean? Um, she's been through a lot. She might be losing it a little bit, but right. also seeing something, I think, in Mrs. Keys that is, um, brings out that maternal um, energy in June. Is it weird that I wasn't surprised mm. that she said banana? I, I don't know why. I just think, I don't know, this episode, I felt like June's a little lost. I mean, she's obviously recovering, trying to heal physically, trying to figure out like the new surroundings and how everything's working. And I just think the lines are starting to blur a bit. I think that she's been through so much and she's still desperate to find Hannah that maybe she is losing herself a little bit in this world and still trying to hold on to the world that she wants new. Hmm. So when Mrs. Keys, it's so weird to call her Mrs. Keys when she's so young looking. Okay. But when she's when she crawled into bed with her, it felt like a mother-daughter moment. Yeah. So I wasn't shocked at all, especially with Mrs. Keys initiating the the sentiments of I love you at first. Yeah. I don't know. It was, it was kind of a an a, an endearing moment. This young girl who needs that mother figure in her life. And yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Rachel. That's so interesting. June is, f she's just w woken up again and is like trying to get her bearings and yeah. is thrust into this, onto this farm with this young, this girl. Right, this a child, child bride, essentially. Child right. that she's like, oh, we got to do something about this. Right. I think she looks at Mrs. Keys and thinks this could be Hannah if this world continues. Right. And she's looking at her right. saying, oh my gosh, yeah. this could be my daughter who's been abused. And that's why um, she's abused so angry. Yeah. Right. And who is, is suffering and who's alone. And so I think that anger, when she sees her daughter within Mrs. Keys, I mm. think that that's where the anger comes from. Oh my mm. gosh, it's so layered. She's upset, <laughs> she sees Hannah. I think at this point, she's starting to see Hannah in everything. Yes. Something else I've thought a lot about with this episode is referencing Banana to Mrs. Keys. Do you see that as a bit of a betrayal at all of Hannah? Either this is an act or she's just transferring all this pain and hurt that she feels for Hannah onto this kind of, you know, unsuspecting young woman. Mm. I, I didn't look at it as betrayal, which typically I lean towards more of the negative side of things. But in this moment, I just, I felt really sorry for June. Mm. And she yeah. just needed to be comforted in that moment. And so Mrs. Keys was that person for her. And, and this episode, she's making up for, um, or attempting to make up for um, things that she feels like she's done wrong. And I think mm. that she's doing that a little bit with Mrs. Keys. And as you said, with, um, you know, imagining that this could be Hannah's life. You know, cl clearly June has a weakness for Mrs. Keys. Do you think this weakness could become a liability for her in terms of protecting the handmaids? I think that the way in, the ways in which Mrs. Keys has reignited that very intense fire for June of um, these these guys need to go down. Hmm. That I think is dangerous territory because what has driven her in moving, you know, getting out of Gilead with the handmaids and moving them along is keeping everyone safe. With June at the, in this first episode, it's just she's. She's on thin ice here. It's, there's so much danger. And I, I think that with Mrs. Keys, it takes her a little too far. Mm. When Mrs. Keys comes to her, it reminds her why she came back, mm -hmm. what she's fighting for. Uh, young ladies like Mrs. Keys, Hannah's, she's fighting for the future. She has just basically told Mrs. Keys, go ahead, take this knife right. and kill that dude. Right, that's, what the, that's why the scene is so creepy. It's so creepy. Right. That in itself is just like, okay, this young woman that you clearly have maternal instincts. Right. Uh, so she says, you know what, go ahead, go ahead and do it. Right. And then leaves. And so she's like, now you have blood on your hands, Mrs. Keys, is kind of what, mm. what I'm thinking. I'm like, like she's that's groomed very her weird. In, that, in that moment. Yeah, it's like right. a grooming moment. But then... They go upstairs, or June goes upstairs and Mrs. Keys follows her, and then Mrs. Keys is the big spoon. <laughs> right. Which I think is, I have to believe you is You mean the placement on the bed is very yes, interesting. Right. That she didn't, right. um, 
because June had been on her, now I'm like dissecting it. <laughs> June had been on her back right. and then she turns and lets Mrs. Keyes come behind her. she's looking at camera her. and Keyes comes behind. Yes, right. this, she's not spooning her and holding her right. and they're not facing each other. Interesting. There's something there. But it, it takes on a different energy that yeah. I think it's not so much parent-child, it's kind of sisters in um, yeah. a very, very disturbing Yes. Cause. <laughs> yeah. Sisters in the fight. Sisters because in the fight. I feel like in that moment when she told her, make me proud, it was almost as if, and, and the other women were around to see it. That's it's almost right. as if she was training them for the battle that's to come. Mm -hmm, that's like, to this come. is what you're going to have to yes. do to get back to the, the world we want to see. In some ways, Mrs. Keyes is lucky that yeah. she is starting this journey when she's still a child. Yeah. Right? And conceivably, she could be free. We don't know if that's going to happen but she won't have the same fate as your character and, yeah. and the other characters who've already suffered, who've already had to lose children. Yeah, so maybe in yeah. some ways, Mrs. Keys is the hope, you know, Oof. that maybe she's the last generation to Oof. suffer. This is why I love this show. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up, so do not hold me to that. I really, I, don't care. I have no. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you so much for your passion about the show and, and these characters, these women. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much, Rachel. <laughs> Thanks, guys. If you have more to say about June's new daughter or sister, or monster, tell us about it using the hashtag OneBurningQuestion. Thank you so much for watching.